everyone so it turns out I had some technical difficulties with this video so I am attempting to redo the audio on it now this is the video that takes a dramatic turn in terms of how the layout is constructed as you can see here I'm using some liquid watercolors from Prima in pink yellow and green to create a very messy circle or circles just with using the watercolor tube that comes out of the product. Now, I um, don't like how this layout is turning out. So here it is with the, um, with it dried, or mostly dried, and I added some brads onto it in the circular shape and I matted my photo on some layers of cardstock, pattern paper cardstock, but I keep looking at it and I'm like, okay, I don't like this. And it's because the way that the color watercolor mixed, the watercolor mixed to make like this really like brownish orange color and I didn't like it. So I am going to change this um, shortly and I don't know when because I'm redoing the audio in the already edited video. So I can't tell when it switches from one to the other. So it'll be a surprise for all of us now. <laughs> so I found these old letter thick stickers, which are a thicker, um, in my stash that match the colors, um, from the hip kit club, April, 2020. Perfectly. I mean like this coral color, this, it's not a true coral. It's like a really pinky coral color it is perfect it matches amazing and those are old figures like I think I got those from like um, home sense um, which would be similar to like um, to a Tuesday morning type store in the States where you can get all of the older supplies so here I've switched to a new um, color of cardstock and you can see that my watercolor wasn't completely dry when I was placing things down on the layout. So I still am going to use a lot of the brads and I'm still going to use those thickers that I had pulled out. The only big difference is I'm going to add some extra pattern papers in. Um, some of them are from the kit. That floral paper is from the kit. This navy paper is not. It is from, I think it's from Chamel Never Grow Up. From her most recent collection with American Crafts, which if you are following along with the controversy, this is Chamel's last collection with American Crafts. So if you are a Chamel fan as I am, I would strongly recommend that you try to get your hands on some of her products. So there I'm realizing like, oh, this little paper clip that I wanted to use just isn't going to fit here anymore because it's not going to, um, line up on top of the solid cardstock and I don't like clear stuff on top of pattern paper it just it just looks messy to me and I'm not a fan so that's the branding shirt from the American Crafts um, Never Grow Up Chamel's collection and I did use my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch to punch out a little tab from this super pretty um, coral polka dot pattern from I think that one's from the a pebbles paper it's a Jen Hadfield paper so I'm not sure what collection it is sorry I have had a very very slow wake up this morning um, I had issues waking up this morning um, this whole quarantine lockdown is really messing with my sleep schedule I have been trying my very best however I have no appointments to go to I have nothing really that is urgent needing to be done so yes plus I have well the Fergus who's in the picture he is 10 months old now but he he still sleeps in his um, his dog crate at night that we I, I, I realize that I'm spelling the word sleepy incorrectly here. I am going to fix it. I realize like right away, like, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, Fergus is only 10 months old and he is still sleeping in his dog crate at night. We are talking about letting him transition to sleeping in our bedroom. 
so we're going to see how that goes soon. Um, hopefully it goes okay. <laughs> Never know with a puppy how it's going to go, so we'll see. But I also have a eight-year-old dog. Eight or nine? Oh my goodness, I should know how old he is. Um, and he's eight. He'll be nine this year. <sighs> no, he just turned eight this year. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a quarantine, I tell you. It just eats your brain away. <laughs> no, that would be my poor math skills. <laughs> but anyways, um, he is eight. Yes. <laughs> so um, he does sleep with us at night. And in the mornings, he is super snuggly, which makes it really hard to get out of bed. So he and I had an extended cuddle this morning. And then we had more cuddles when I came downstairs to drink coffee and eat breakfast. <laughs> so I'm finally getting around to starting. Well, I've been awake for a while, but it is quarter after one in the afternoon. And I'm just starting to, um, you know, get things done. But anyways what happens when you don't have a job and oh, quarantine have nowhere to go and oh goodness hopefully this ends soon right let's hope I've been saying that for like what eight weeks now <laughs> anyway so this is a layout of my 10 month old puppy um he is not 10 months old in this picture he was little then I'm not sure how old he was here but I would guess around four or five months. I'm going to say four months because he's so pretty small in that picture. Um, I am working on scrapbooking his puppy pictures. I am planning on making a year of first year of Fergus life album. And then depending on how many layouts I have, I might just like continue adding in like one or two layouts, like, you know, from his life throughout the years. But the main bulk of it will be his puppy <laughs> puppyhood <laughs> he is a purebred golden retriever he is an English cream retriever so he is light colored he does have a very very nice cream color running through his back um, I think he's gorgeous and super sweet and adorable <laughs> just depends if you like yellow retrievers or red ones or cream ones I honestly don't care. I just wanted a good dog. So <laughs> I wasn't too, fu too fussy with what color he came. <laughs> so here I'm going to use this half circle, which is actually left out from another layout that I made. Um, but it was just sitting on the side of my desk. So I was like, Hey, sure. Let's put it there. It's the same paper that I used for around the photo. So I'm just going to add it in. That little strip of striped paper is, um, from a paper that I used to mat the photo. And then I'm going to punch another tab, label bunch, tab bunch <laughs> to add in at the top. I do have a label punch as well, but that's not what I'm using here. And then I'm just going to add a couple more brads up at the top. And then I think I go in with something else. Is it enamel dots or sparkly gems or I can't quite remember what I add in. Well, some word stickers apparently. I don't remember. I guess I don't add anything else. I do. Um, I don't know if I put any journaling on this page either, but anyways, that is my layout. And I'm so sorry. This video had poor audio on it. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.